on there. Right, time's come to do it. Um, about time I did my butt mend. Uh, come back from the deals the other day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, four or five thousand RPM most of the way. And it was a red up day, and I noticed the oil light was flashing on and off a bit when I got the lower revs. Um, now it's done that for a while, but usually um, reaching tick over revs where it flashed the other day at about 2,000 RPM. It didn't. It didn't stay on long. Where uh, it's about time I done the bottom end. I intend to put big ends in it. Do the sludge trap and maybe some camshaft bushes. I think I should put camshaft bushes in because I've never changed them. Um, right, it's cold. I'm going to set the oil draining. I'm not going to warm it up to drain the oil because I want all the bits. If there's any bits in there, I want them to be where they are so I can have a look, see what's coming out of it. Um, so I'll start off uh, with the tank off, pipes off, footrests off. Well, disconnect, disconnect the battery. Um, yeah. So this is this should be like a complete engine strip down with this top to bottom. Um, although I've got other uh, videos of my top end, I, I might try and do this one a bit more detailed. Maybe on the build up, bottom end's important. Maybe the gearbox. Mm. Right, I'm going to start off fairly clean container. Uh, and drain the oil from the frame. So, I'll go there, a bit of And we'll go to the oil drain bulb, just under here. There it is. So I'll just crack that off with a half inch. Oh, I thought it would be like treacle. Certainly black. Right. I think that the drains out. There's a tank off, I think. And while that's draining, I'll... Uh, Disconnect the battery. Take the lid off. Move my rotor tire, which pack me seat up. Place a rubber mat over the wiring. Air for first. Wrapping that boiler up in that rubber doesn't seem to have done it any harm, like. So, right there. Things are my loops. I put these on for when I, if I go camping, it gives us something to strap me bags to. And the aero elastics. Right, while right on this side, I'll undo the petal taps. Turn my tap halfway on so I can get the spanner over it to support it. And then just crack the nut off. Front uh, tank brace. Right, we'll crack the other tap off. pipes off. Usually stuck. Put your fingers under the front, try and protect it. And there she is. 
and whip your brakes off. So, the back hangers on the foot rest. And track aim on. And I have a couple of Jubilee clips under here holding the exhaust to my footrest because of the lack of uh, engine steer there. Right, got my clips off. Clamps are slacking. Put this off and a couple of times. And I'll take the one off the other side. Right, I haven't uh, cleaned it off. Look at that stub slack again. I might have a new pair of headers. Right, I haven't cleaned it off. Uh, the reason being, if it's leaking oil, uh, you can see where it's coming from. You see, I've got a little oil leak here. Now, I know these threads are iffy, so I'm going to be uh, putting some time sets in them. And I think one of the base ones is as well. Um, nice dry push rods, but that ring's kicked up again, which is totally mad. Bit of oil vapor, not much. That's fairly oil free. got oil coming out of here. I've tried to show this before, the case is too shiny. Anyway, we'll see. And there, it, it's oil coming out of there. And probably out the back. Yeah, bit of oil down here. Let's just have a quick look underneath. Right, it looks nice and dry under here. Bit of oil in, in that area. Yeah, it's quite dry. Got a chip with that. And I'm taking it to bits. Gearbox is leaking a bit. Oh, a lot of this. Yeah, and got plenty of oil down this side. Which is, the majority of that will be chain lube. But uh, the gearbox oil seal and the uh, primary side oil seal could be suspect. So anyway, she's been nice and oil tight. Yeah, nice and oil tight. Let's uh, have a look. <coughs> yep, yeah, nice and dry. So, quite pleased with that. Maybe a little bit of weeping on that front one. Back one looks good. Burning a little bit sooty. Nice grey deposit. Right. Um, I'm oil tight round this side. Push rod tube's good. And again, this this oil, I can see this oil here. Oh, two slack stubs. This oil is coming from this front rocker box and blowing back. Uh, now it can look like it's coming out the exhaust, but it, it actually isn't. Don't know whether we can see in there that oil. Again, run a bit black, bit rich, but not bad, not bad. Down to the primary side. Lots of chain lube in there. Again, it's not leaking, so chuffed with it. Bit of vapour around these. Yeah. Right, let's get the head off. Right, I'm just going to whip my uh, crankshaft drain plug out. Um, again, I'm going to drain it into a cleanish container. Make sure that's a 
they can fit. Oops. Now there's not much oil in here. A little bit there maybe. That looks fairly clean. Right, let that drain out and give them an inspect. Right, they'll be whipping the carburetors off for the banjos and the pedal pipe. And the same on the other side. That's off. <clears throat> Quick look at the little filters, see if they're alright. Yeah, nice and clean. And a couple of bolts. Mm, a bit slack that one. One carb off, I'll leave them dangling and whip the other one off. Uh, on my carbs, I haven't got no o rings or anything. I, I got rid of the o rings years ago and just use a gasket between the two, um, each to their own. I must have my, my carburetors are getting a bit hot like I could do with thicker gaskets. So right. cut this one off. And I'll, I'll just probably leave them dangle. I might take them off in a minute later on. Yeah, the cut can see see a little bit of oil in there in the middle right I'll just whip the clutch lever off lock nut underneath uh, just so I can get the clutch cable out Keep them right, I'm back around the time inside. Right. Just press the cap. Crack off me um, the rocker oil feed. Smoke that cable out the way, see you a bit better. Right, I'm going to take the head steady off now. Three nuts, one under there, that's the awkward one under there. I can't remember doing that one. Probably didn't. Oh. And a couple of spaces underneath there. Right. 
That's a head steady off. Yeah, pull that out of the way. Let's see what you see. Right. Take the inspection caps off. Can't see. Yeah, that's the one which stripped. Well, not not really stripped, it's just nearly stripped. Yeah, that one's a bit rough as well, that one. Two bottom ones. Give them a little tap. And there. Lovely. Exhaust one off. Do the same on the inlet side. And then the inlet one. Thank you. Bang. Looks good. Oh, no silicon in there. So if you use it properly, man, you don't get nothing in the engine hardly. Right. Uh, rocker box is off.